Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the second part of installing Arch Linux in VirtualBox. So in the first part, we have installed the base uh, Arch Linux and we created a user that has access to the internet. In this second part, uh, I'm going to install a graphical user interface, which is going to be i3 plus a login manager. So when it comes to Arch, you have actually a lot of freedom to choose whatever you want. For example, uh, for the graphical user interface, you can opt in for a, a full-fledged desktop environments like a KDE or GNOME, or you can actually go for a light version of the graphical user interface, such as i3 or Fluxbox or anything as you wish. And for uh, the same goes actually for anything else, the same for the uh, display manager or login manager. You can go with the light DM, whatever you want. So the one that I would choose for the login manager would be LY. LY is a pretty neat uh, Uncursors based uh, login manager, is is rather lightweight and I like it so I, I'm going to install it in this video. So let's get uh, started. So what I'm going to do first is to install just some of the base packages for the i3 stuff, and obviously we are going to use, I'm going to use Pacman. So I go with the i3. Also has different flavors. The one that I prefer is i3 gaps because I, then I can customize it in any way that I wish. Then for a menu, I will go with the D menu and I let me correct the spelling and then uh, there is for the status bar at the bottom part usually uh, I can actually I, I prefer i3 blocks because then I can insert the custom scripts there so i3 blocks here and then uh, the one that for locking the uh, locking the screen if if the system is not used x auto lock then to lock things manually i3 lock and x org x term this x term is pretty tricky one because you need to have it actually in your system otherwise the start x command will not run even though that if you may not use it at all but it's kind of like prerequisites of the xorg and all those stuff so i don't know why the for example the xorg is it it's it yeah, it needs x term for what purpose but if you don't have x term i can get i can guarantee you that you can't uh, like move further so for the terminal application i will go with the rxvt rxvt unicode and then let's install the pulse audio pulse audio plus a default team because we need the default team actually a default sorry default font default font so we can act otherwise the uh, so i3 can actually grab that font and render this stuff properly i3 cannot utilize the xorg fonts so we have to actually install some some other fonts the the beauty is what are all the fonts packages in Arch actually is a, it has a prefix of ttf so you can do you can install any of them you wish i go with just the very plain one which is a deja vu font and no worries on that one because i can change it anytime that i wish by overriding the i3 configurations and what else do we need? I maybe I I just can add the man pages in case that we are stuck in somewhere. All right, so let's try to install these packages. It will take a while, and I will pause the video while this one is installed. All right, so all the i three related packages have been installed. Now let's move on to the display to the inst uh, to, to installing the LY display manager. So the LY display manager actually is not available in the official Arch repository. We have to use the AUR. 
and we haven't installed any actually a UR package manager. The one I prefer to use is EA. It is a Go based package manager and also is rather fast. And the good thing about it is it uses the similar commands or switches to to Pac-Man. So I don't need to like memorize two sets of switches. So I will go with installing EA. So we have to clone it. We installed Git actually previously in the first part. So a u r forge and now I go to the yay directory make package si so this will install yay it will take a while I will pause the video yay installation has been done now let's install uh, ly display manager This one also will take a while and as usual I will pause the video here. Alright, so now that we have done with installing the display manager, let's enable it before rebooting the virtual box. So we have to do it using the systemd, so sudo systemctl enable ly.service. So now it has created the symlink and then we can reboot the virtual box to see whether everything is working or not. Alright, so now this is after reboot. So as you can see the display manager is working properly. So let's try to log into the i3 and see whether everything there is working fine or not. Okay, so we have everything here now and now we just do the basic configurations for the i3. Okay, we use win key as the default modifier and that should be it. So let's see about the here also is working fine. The D menu also is installed and the fonts are rendering properly. As you can see here, the i3 blocks actually it, it it throws some sort of error and that is because we have not installed any actually the any scripts or something so we have to do that one in the next part and another issue would be about the scaling in the virtual box as you can see uh, the the i3 doesn't uh, scale automatically so we have to fix that one also by installing some other packages but all this one we will be doing in the next video so that's all for this video and thanks for watching see you next time bye